Hi everybody, it's Jackie from The Woolly Badger here and today I'm going to be showing you how to work half brioche stitch which is this detail in the centre of my swatch here. It's a kind of slightly fancier ribbing kind of effect. Now the name half brioche stitch is a little bit misleading because this isn't created just by doing one special stitch. There's sort of two parts to it. There's a setup which you do where you are adding in what's called a slip one yarn over which I will demonstrate. And then there's the second part on the second row where you work a brioche knit. Um, I will demonstrate how you do this both flat and in the round and you'll see that they sort of create the same look. So I've started off here working flat. So I'm gonna start demonstrating like that. So the setup for the half brioche stitch starts on the wrong side of your knitting. So, I'm going to just purl my way over to my half brioche element. So there you go. I'm going to start with a knit stitch here. And then I am bringing my yarn to the front, ready to work my slip one yarn over. Now that sounds like it might be something complex. It's really not. You put your needle in as if you are going to purl, slip the stitch, and then take your yarn over it. So it's exactly as it says on the tin. Then because I'm working the wrong side here, I'm gonna knit the next stitch. So I'm leaving my yarn at the back there, ready to knit that next stitch. And you can see here that in between those stitches, I have got my slip stitch and my yarn over. So I'm gonna do that again, slip, yarn over, knit. And what you can do yarn to the front, slip that stitch, and then go straight into knitting the next one. And in taking your yarn over the needle and to the back, you are ready creating that yarn over. So when we get round to the end of the row, I will show you what we do with those slip one yarn overs on this side. They sort of present like this. You've got the slip stitch, the yarn over going across the top of it, and then those purl stitches in between as they will be on this side. So I've made my way over to where we are with this half brioche detailing here, and I am gonna start off by purling this first stitch. So you can see that the little bump at the top of the stitch is here on the front. That means I want to purl that one. I'm going to then move my yarn to the back, ready to work my brioche knit. So a brioche knit, where it differs from a standard knit, is that you are working both the stitch itself, so this here is the stitch that I slipped on the previous row, and the yarn over that's with it. And what you do is you put your needle through the stitch, through that yarn over, and you just knit them both together. And you end up with... On the wrong side you've got your yarn coming through the stitch and you've got your yarn over kind of wrapping around it. Then I'm going to purl one, move my yarn to the back, brioche knit through both of those, carry on to the end. So to work half brioche in the round you are still working your slip one yarn overs and your brioche knits but you are doing them from obviously the right side of your work. So we start here with a purl and then it is still a slip one yarn over. So I already have my yarn at the front because I've just worked the purl stitch. I then slip that stitch by putting my needle in as if I'm gonna purl it. And I take my yarn over and all the way back to the front, ready to then work that next purl stitch. So once again, I have got that slipped stitch and that yarn over there. So slip, yarn over, back to the front, purl. I do that for as long as I'm working the half brioche panel. Then when I come back to it again on my next round, it is exactly the same as we've already done, as if we'd been working it flat. So I've got my slip stitch, I've got my yarn over, and I brioche knit them together. So there you go, that is the half brioche stitch worked flat or 
in the round. And as you can see, once I get to the end here, it produces that lovely sort of honeycomb fabric. Right, shout in the comments if you have any questions and I'll be back with more tutorials soon.